quick swords more like lightning sword am i right what is your favorite color of bugatti because holy shit this one's pretty fast at first i thought i was knocked out my numbers were pretty high but then i realized there's something missing from both things so i optimized that kick that out once i figure out what it is optimize it over here 400 or 40 milliseconds turn into basically one milliseconds and now we knocked them out i got one result or a couple of results that very close very close guys and close is good enough with quicksort because we don't know what comes up next we have not optimized the code yet i need science to help me out on testing every single variation of this just inspecting every single possibility i cannot do it myself this is already a lot of hard work just to finding the right thing that works just as well and because i created my own version I can change things about it, right? There's potential tool sets hidden within this. Who knows? Because Quicksort just takes an array and just, you know, swaps values. And there's actually, you know, a maximum speed that you can reach with this. If you're just swapping values, uh, it's mathematically proven that you cannot be faster than Quicksort. However, Again, I don't know. The, the array is pretty much sorted. I plug it to quicksort, so probably it doesn't even swap that many values. But I don't swap almost anything. I just fix things. All right? So this goes here. This goes here. What is that? This is my array of what I'm trying to sort. And this is an empty array where I insert elements. Empty array is about 10 times larger to have plenty of empty space. When you're sorting things, you pick up an empty bucket or empty table and you put things where they're kind of supposed to go. If this is like somewhat red, you double check if it's redder, I guess. But you, uh, you, you put it in the red box or a red pile. The same example, but with more letters because we're doing things alphabetically here. What I'm trying to sort is these buttons, that they have names and they have values. So I want to sort through names first, and through values, of course. Why not that as well? Just values are actually more complicated than alphabet, because values can range from zero to fucking infinity. You have to pick your range and split things into buckets, and make sure that this just kind of goes in here neatly without too many errors. Because that shit's hard to fix. With alphabets, the words are kind of, well, consistent at least, of how they go into the range. But even that can be optimized. I have no idea how many things can be optimized here. I might still be twice as fast than Quicksort. And uh, maybe even more. I don't, because again, the notation of O notation... If we beat that, the limits are limitless, guys. If we can make things two times faster, people are going to be pretty impressed, right? Because you want a faster speed of doing things, right? Or some people just addicted to speed. I don't know, man. So I put things in the right place relatively, but there's still empty space. We remove the empty space with another method. And then finally, we fix things with bubble sort. And yes, I use bubble sort to fix things. It's terrifying. It's not supposed to be happening. Bubble sort is evil. But hey, it works for this particular thing. And it doesn't take too much time. But I am scanning way too many things way too many times. I should just pick an error and just kind of like toss it around until it's sort of fixed. So, uh... That's that. There is a little bit of swapping here, and this can be optimized. Or maybe something else can be optimized, so errors don't even happen. I don't know. That's for science to decide, not me. And you can help if you know anything about anything, 
and you can uh, make this more popular i don't know bro and we can test different variations all that shit i can't do it myself by any means some crazy lunatic has to be doing it who truly feels that this is a real breakthrough and it still doesn't have a name i'm kind of tempted to call it swifty sorts just because you know i'm kind of am a swifty it's just a funny name guys it's funny. it's swifty it's like quick sword but like swift it's too funny not to name it that way so unfortunately not only i'm breaking the universe but i'm making a joke out of it see that's the blind spot that people have they think they have to swap elements but it makes a lot of calculations and a lot of values have to be uh you know reapplied like what if you applying a string value what a long string too what if your name is 10 characters long you have to toss that those 10 characters in and out in in the array like that's kind of crazy with numbers it's a lot easier to uh, check the order of numbers compare them right so there's way too much test i can't do any of this i can show you the code i think that's it we have uh these many methods we have preparation for sorting then we insert the elements into the array based on the values alphabetically we turn alphabet value into a number then we uh, do the end sort which contains the bubble sorts and the emptying of the array that in this case holds thousand elements again i'm not exactly faster sometimes the number is bigger sometimes it's smaller i found a smaller number and uh, we don't know how many elements to use so i i used 10,000 right now because I'm uncomfortable with a thousand there could be a lot of errors uh, with a thousand elements we have reached a speed of 40 versus 44 so quicksort does that I don't single out quicksort both of the methods have cards ID update because I need to update something about every single card after I sort them I need to know where they are in the array they need to know the cards themselves need to know so both methods have that afterwards i have to add the values on top of the existing array because uh, i sorted but it's in the new array now so it's a little bit messy and then i remove the old cards Th this is a little bit messy there has to be a better way right so uh let's find out Let's find out how history shall remember this moment. And if I can get away with a Swifty sword, so even Swifty, uh, Swift herself fucking notices me. You know, notice me some pie. Bye. I mean, uh, what a cute person, right?